Hi, uh, so Mark Anderson, Head of Education here at Netsport for yet another episode of Insights with Netsport live from BET 2023. And I'm absolutely delighted uh, to have three special guests with me today. We have, first of all, Mr. Martin Bailey, who's Animate to Educate on Twitter. We have Kirsty Grundy, Head Teacher of Charlton Primary uh, Technology Primary School, um, who is Lady Kirsty Grundy. And on Twitter, she is Kirsty Grundy STB. And on the end here, last but by no means least, uh, we have Miss J.M. Park. Parker, and that's uh, Jade Parker, a year two teacher from Kirsty's school. Uh, we've just come from the Teaching and Learning Theatre where we've been talking uh, about using immersive audio in the classroom. Uh, so, Martin, immersive audio in a classroom, audio in a classroom, do you mean like kids just like listening to Britney? Is that, is that what we're talking about? I think the, the, the key word is that immersed, so you, you, you're becoming part of an experience you're becoming part of an adventure you're becoming part of the world you know and that's the, the sort of key word thing so it's not just simply about you know sitting there listening it's it's, it's very active active learning sort mm-hmm. of what we're thinking about sort of when we're, we're getting immersed yeah and so um how, how do you you say so you, you come from a really really broad experience background not only you are serving teachers still uh, you also train teachers at Durham University and you also run your own consultancy where you train teachers and support schools with their use of technology for teaching and learning as well so how do you go about immersing audio with the children that you work with in your school how, is there any special kit that you use and uh, how easy is it to actually make work yeah well um, you know probably in terms of a, a bit of kit the one that stands out is a fabulous resource called now press play uh, we use that extensively from EYFS right through to year six. It has a lot of built-in content. There's about 80 plus so, uh, what they call experiences ranging um, from you know things you can do with nursery right through to year six, um, linked to geography, history, topic, etc. So, so that was probably my introduction to immersive audio. But then what's come on the back of that, we've, we've realised the power of it. So then, you know, we're now sort of thinking, well, actually, there's great stuff out there on, on YouTube. There's great other content on there that we can get the kids to be listening to where suddenly you might feel like you're in the rainforest or, you know, you're listening to an audio book, getting kids sort of engaging with podcasts or making that own immersive audio concert. I think like probably like a lot of resources in school, it's, it's using that, you know, pre-built content is often the introduction and then it's like where that can take you on the journey mm. thereafter. Brilliant stuff. Uh, if I just put this to you for a second, Kirsty, you make sure you hold the mic nice and close to your mouth as well. Um, so could you talk, first of all, a little bit about your uh, 3E cu- curriculum within the school and, and how, how that works, first yeah, of all? Yeah, okay. So um, uh, about 2018, I mean, prior to 2018, um, having worked in our secondary school, uh, Big Shyland, we call it, Big Shyland, Little Shyland, um, we had created a, 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 a curriculum that was very much based on a primary model. Um, and then fast forward to 2018, when we were we um, were opening up a free school, brand new school, technology primary school. Um, we wanted to have a, a really a curriculum that went right from early years all the way through to, you know, um, key stage four. Um, and so we started on the primary version of that. So it's called E3L. Um, it's based on our values, which are excite, explore, excel. And um, we, we, it's something that's been, it's at the heart really of what we do. So we might have technology uh, in, in the name of the school, but it's as much about the curriculum and having a, a really good curriculum at its heart. Brilliant stuff. Thank you, Kirsty. So in the session, say, like Martin and, and Jade, we were all talking about immersive audio. How are you using immersive audio in your school? Well, what, what brought about the, the desire to use immersive audio as well? Well, I mean... Um, I know that Martin, you've talked that you, you've had now press play for, for, for six years. And um, we were talking earlier about the fact that I do remember six years ago coming to, down to bed and, and seeing loads of people crawling on the floor with these pink headphones on and thinking, bit of a gimmick, and walked off. Um, and then about six months ago, just over six months ago, put um, a tweet out to the Twitter community because we were looking for um, a reward for attendance to really look at mm-hmm. picking up attendance post COVID. Um, and somebody uh, had the idea uh, and had seen perhaps other schools doing the, a reward at a silent disco. Yeah. So um, really wanted some advice on what the you know best sort of kit to use for that. Um, and that's where you reached out and said, what about now press play? And I went, what, those pink headphones? 
Um, and so really that was that was how I got introduced to, to now press play. Then suddenly find out there's all this amazing content that fitted uh, really, really neatly with our curriculum. Uh, and suddenly uh, we've got an, we're really lucky we've got an immersive room. So we've got this visual immersive experience already. Uh, but what this now gave was another layer. So this was audio uh, experience as well. So, you know, we get a lot from our book. You know, you talk about value for money with yeah, the kids. Yeah, yeah, and we're yeah. here at BET. And, you know, there's a lot of things to choose from. And it's about trying to choose things that are absolutely going to make uh, an impact. Um, uh, and what yeah. I like about something like Now Press Play is that multiplier effect, uh, effect that you have that tick yes i've got my i've got my um, incentive for attendance tick i've got extracurriculum um, content that can immerse the children but through a different way but then there's all the other things that that build into sats which i know that when we started to dig under there was a whole plethora if yeah I'm allowed to use that word of resources that we just i really didn't know brilliant stuff thank you uh, can i jump on to you a second jade so you're a year two teacher yeah um I'm really interested to um, hear from you um, what impacts you've seen mm -hmm. with using immersive mm -hmm. audio and what insights you might sort of share about so the viewers probably haven't even considered using hope but maybe yeah. you have if you have <laughs> great if you haven't then listen on uh, but um, yeah sure what impacts but what what insights can you share what, what have you been surprised by what have you learned from using immersive audio yourself in the classroom um so first thing I've learned is that children actually, so we always, everyone does this as a teacher, you think they're not listening or things really aren't, they're not grasping a concept, but actually with immersive audio it's really allowed them to do that really um, uh -huh. and it's actually brought a lot of things to life that for all our children will not experience. Um, so. I'll like really echo what you said, um, Martin, about uh, you know you wouldn't be able to take them to some of the places that this content takes them to, or the experience it's, it allows you to give them in that moment. But also, um, like I've already previously mentioned, confidence. The, the main thing for me with Now Press Play um, and immersive audio, just looking at that by itself, is the confidence it brings to the children. Um, a lot of our children do are do, they're they're reserved, they um, lack a lot of confidence generally in lesson time on the playground, interacting with friends and um, really they become the leaders mm. um, and it's really their comfort place because they're in a world where it's just them and they're allowed to express themselves. Um, so that's what the beauty of it for me really, um, of immersive audio. Not only that, like what Kirsty said about the SATS um, style questions, as a year two teacher, that's um, crucial really. Because from the beginning of them being in year two, we can immerse them and expose them to the SATS style questions. And it's a fun way of doing it because they get to be immersed with the audio and with us we have our immersive room as well. Um, having our immersive room, if that's the excite, and then excelling them with the um, heavy lifting that now press play does um, with the sat style questions um, allows us to carry that through the whole academic year. Well, I was just going to say, I mean, um, we, we talk about the content in terms of the foundation subjects, but I think the big plus for us is that is that it then brings in to English, speaking yeah. and listening. Um, the sat style with yeah. English, but through a context of the themes that they're, they're studying as well. Mm -hmm. So again, it's another element that we hadn't really thought of and um, yeah. didn't realise that that it had, mm -hmm. that we suddenly were seeing a big impact because it, it has helped them to prep a little bit earlier and prepare them for those different styles yeah. of questions. Yeah. And as you said, the beauty is, for, from my perspective, we talk about workload is that now press play have got these resources they've as you said they've done that heavy lifting for us yeah um i don't the teachers don't have to go and prepare all those they're, they're done for us you might tweak them yeah, if you yeah, need to absolutely. for our own context for the cohort that we've got but the majority of it's there and that's massive Brilliant stuff. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for your insights. Uh, thank fine. you, Jade. Thank you, Kirsty. <laughs> thank you, Martin. Uh, 
if you want to follow them on Twitter, you can do. Get into the show notes and you can see everything there as well. And as it goes, as part of the presentation that we were all just part of in the Teaching and Learning Theatre, uh, we created a, a free CPD resource. And I'll make sure that that link to that resource, so if you want to do some training around using immersive audio in your classroom, is meant for you. Uh, you can grab that from the show notes as well. But for now, thanks again to Martin, to Kirsty, to Jade for joining me for another episode of Insights with Net Support here live from BET 2023. Thanks.